We expect to vote on the motion to proceed to the reconciliation legislation on Saturday. That little sentence is big news. It means the Senate will likely pass a major economic package tomorrow. Democratic Senator Kristen Sinema announced last night she'd support the bill that should let it pass even without any Republican votes, then head to the House next week. The Inflation Reduction Act lowers prescription drug prices, lowers health insurance premiums, invest in clean energy that will create jobs and economic opportunities. Plenty of Republicans say they see inflation as a problem. I think voters come November will be very focused on the cost of gasoline and groceries and, and, and rent. They're just not convinced the bill does much about high prices. It would make inflation worse over the next two years, and they'd do nothing to cut inflation in the long term. Economists have differing opinions on whether the bill lives up to its name, but the measure does appear to be the country's most significant climate change legislation to date. Rein in certain prescription drug prices and impose a minimum 15 percent tax on big corporations. That last item is designed to chip away at the deficit. The rich people don't call all the shots on how we write tax laws. I'm Amy Kiley reporting.